Alright, so, melee volleyball tier list. Now that I've gone through all the characters, I've got a much better idea where they'll belong on this tier list. And just real quick, I modified this a little bit. So, best in the game, top tier. I wanted to really make these two one tier, but I split them up because there's just going to be too many in the mid tier category. So, I made a high and a low, but I think they're pretty close. And then, the people that are just questionable. I didn't even make them see. They're just deranked. So I'll just go through these as they are and put them where they I think they belong and talk about why. So I think a lot of people thought Bowser was not viable, but I think he's pretty good. Uh, well, I shouldn't say pretty good. I would say he's viable. He's low mid, but he's got his aerials are actually not bad. Yeah, they come out slow, but they hit hard. And they come out slow if you're like 10 hits into a rally and you can't react fast enough. But they're fast enough that you can return the ball with it consistently. Um, and his up B is actually the most slept on, I think. Uh, if you just slide across the ground with up B, you can pop the ball up and then follow up. Or you can even catch the ball with up B in the air land fast enough and repeat that a couple times to build damage and then just send the ball flying. So his up B is a really interesting tool and his side B is also a really good close to the net spike. Uh, same with up ear. So he's got a couple options. He hits hard. Yeah, he's slow, but he is viable in my opinion at least. Uh, Falcon is going to be a top tier. I'll explain these top two rows at the very end because there's a little bit more to say about them. For now, I'll just put them there. Uh, DK, I think, is also a low mid. Dare I say worse than Bowser. His aerials are just weaker than Bowser's. Back air comes out fast, yeah. Kind of weak. I mean, it's kind of okay, but not that strong. Fair is just too slow, in my opinion. His best move is obviously his neutral B. Um, and it is really good. Uh, and it has an interesting mix-up, where if you hit it close enough to your body, it'll send it pretty vertically and it's a good little spike to the net near the net uh, or you can just s send it flying to the back of the court so he has a pretty okay mix up with his neutral B but other than that he kind of falls short on everything else um, so I think he belongs right there Doc I think is a little better than these two but also still low mid he's got drill he's got cape uh, his F smash is pretty strong his arrows aren't that great, but they're okay to kind of just catch the ball, and fair is a great option to just send it flying. But it comes out a little slow, and I would say it's kind of reactable. I would say it's definitely reactable, especially uh, once you're comfortable with the angle that it goes. So, not too hard to figure him out, but he's still fun to play and has some pretty good options that hit hard. So, he's good right there. Falco, we'll talk about. Fox, we'll talk about. Ganon, we'll talk about. Ices, I think everybody thinks they're not viable. <laughs> or at least they didn't when volleyball first came out. Myself included. Because they both hit the ball, so you get to four hits pretty quick. So it's kind of tricky to even serve with these guys, let alone return the ball during a rally. However, they hit really hard. I used to think they were even top tier. But they kind of fall a little short of top tier in my opinion. I think they're perfect right here at high mid. Yeah, they hit the ball twice, but uh, they don't need to hit it more than that. You can just survive with back air alone. Up air is an amazing mix up to hit it close to net. Nair is just good to catch the ball and mix up where you're going to return it. Their F smash is great, their up smash is really good, their down smash is great. They've got a lot of options and they don't need to hit the ball a lot. There, if you hit the back air with both of them, which you're going to be doing most of the time unless you're doing some crazy desync stuff, it just amplifies the speed so much. It just sends the ball rocketing. They're pretty slept on, and I think they're really good. Puff is not viable. <laughs> Our first non-viable, in my opinion. That's why there's a question mark. If somebody wants to step up and show that they're viable uh, and can beat anybody above them, uh, you know, of course, I'd welcome that. But I think just two weak aerials... F smash on the ground is probably her strongest option in terms of just raw strength. Um, obviously, other than rest, but rest is just the free point to your opponent if they read it or a trade. Uh, you know, I know people used to argue that you can just get the lead and then just keep resting, but 
you're just giving them more and more chances to get the read return and then you just lose a point. The best time to use rest is when it's game point, not even a round point. Because if it's a round point and you rest, okay, you got the point, but then you just lose the first point on the next round. So, really bad. <laughs> Pound is kind of okay. Drill is kind of okay as a gimp. Uh, weak, fair. Some options, but so weak and not good. Kirby is better than Puff. Uh, purely because of Kirby's up air. Hits pretty hard. Back air hits kind of hard. Um, other than that, not really many options. <laughs> not many options in the qu viable question mark category. That's why they're here. Um, not else much needs to be said about Kirby other than up air is his best option with back air. Um, you can, uh, you know, I'm sure Crack Kirby is going to come along and find some like weak hit fair into some stuff, but I just don't think the options are there to really make Kirby viable uh, to be anybody above Kirby that I'm going to have in this list. Link is not top tier, but I do think is high mid. Dare I say Link is better than Ices. These guys are pretty close, I would say. I'm, I'm going to put Link right after Ices. Um, Link has got the down air and up air mix up, which is insane. And hits really hard and not hard to hit. Um, his neutral air, his forward air are good to just kind of catch the ball and put it where you want. Same with back air. His grounded moves aren't that good. Um, but you know, he's got his smashes that are kind of okay. His down smash is pretty good. Um, but really he's carried by his up air and down air in my opinion. Um, his specials I don't think are that good, but I haven't used them too much. But his down air and up air just hitting hard and being a good mix up carries him to high tier alone. And I think he's good right there. Luigi, kind of similar situation. I would say he's better than Link, but not better than Ices. His aerials are okay, near as bad, sends it straight up. Uh, his F smashes are really good, or his smashes are really good, F smash is good, down air, I mean down smash is good to just build damage for your serve. Uh, during a rally, it's probably going to be too fast for you to return it after you down smash, but F smash, very good, up smash, very good. Fair, very good, down air, very good. And that's all you need to be very to be high mid. <laughs> he's got the options, and he's got a wave dash that'll just put him where he needs to be. Obviously, his vertical movement's a little weird, um, but his moves are good enough to carry him uh, over any of these other characters. Mario is not viable, in my opinion. Um, I'd say slightly better than Kirby, because he does have near and back air, which is an okay return, albeit pretty weak. Um, F smash is, you know, strong-ish, but the only way you're winning as Mario is if your opponent is dropping the ball more than you are. <laughs> so, not that good. Not too much else needs to be said about that. Drill is kind of okay. Cape is kind of okay. Fair can spike and is really cool, but outside of that, I don't think he's got much going for him. Marth is... Not a top tier, but I do think is high mid. I think Mart has a very interesting peak where if you're hitting all the tippers, tipper fares, tipper dares, tipper uh, F smashes, he's really good. Um, I'm going to put him here assuming that you're not perfect, but you're hitting most of your tippers. If you're hitting most of your tippers, Marth is a high mid. If you're not, he's a low mid. And that's pretty much all there is to Marth. I actually have a really good serve with Marth that I think uh, has a really good mix-up and sends it opposite sides of the court really quickly. So has a good serve also and pretty good during rallies at just catching the ball and returning it how you want. Kinda. There's still some labbing that I would do for Marth, but I think a good Marth um, will see the options he's got and know how to use him pretty well. So Marth's pretty good. High mid. Mewtwo, I don't think is viable. Uh, Shadow Ball is really strong. Kind of comes out slow though, and not really, you know, too hard to predict after you see it a few times. Um, his fairy is good to kind of spike the ball near the net, but really hard to set up, and just doesn't have that many options. On top of that, the worst part about Mewtwo, actually Kirby's better than Mewtwo, is how many different hitboxes his moves has and how how difficult it is to be consistent with them. I think maybe a, you know a, a Mewtwo main will, won't find it that hard, but I still I, I I just don't see how Mewtwo works. 
um, even if you're hitting all the hitboxes that you want to hit. I just think he's a little too weak. I think at best he's um, returning the ball with Shadow Ball um, and some other gimp, but even then I just don't think he, he can compete that well. Maybe there's an argument that he's the lowest mid, but I think he's maybe here. Game & Watch, I would say, is a high mid. Um, his Nair is the strongest in the game, has a great range. Not L cancelable, but just being so strong I think is just good enough. Uh, his Fairy and Nair are the only L cancelable ones, and actually a good mix-up on their s by themselves. Uh, just don't spike with the Deer and you're good. Fair alone can carry, just returning the ball constantly. And his smashes are amazingly strong and pretty uh, good in terms of the way it can be used to mix up. So his F smash, uh, down smash, and up smash all hit the ball in different uh, at different angles and are good mix ups and uh, not that hard to set up honestly. His up air can kind of just kill the momentum of the ball. Same with back air and it does a lot of damage. and. He's got decent tools to kind of set up the ball and great tools to return the ball. So he's high mid. Ness is low mid. Uh, I'd say he's worse than those other three in low mid. His nair is okay. His back air is obviously his strongest aerial. His up air is also really good to spike the ball near the net. Um, but he's kind of hard to set the ball up. He's got an okay serve, I think. Uh, but other than his... Uh, back air and up air, he kind of falls short. His smashes aren't good. Uh, his aerials aren't good except for the back air and near and up air. And fair, actually. His aerials are good-ish. Uh, good for a low mid. But just doesn't really cut it when it comes to uh, the mix-up game, I think. And most of his returns are just going to be reactable. Uh, his fair does have some nice gimp uh, potential, but... Again, kind of comes out too slow for it to really uh, be really, really good. Uh, you know, he might actually be better than DK. I think DK just slightly wins because of his punch. So I'll leave Nesh right there. But he's got some stuff, and he's still fun to play. Peach, I think, is actually a little better than Ness. Peach has her dare, which you can just catch the ball with. And it just kills the momentum, and you can follow it up with a near or if you're close enough to the net you can follow it up with an up air for a really good spike but other than that she's just slow horizontally and vertically and not that many options uh, she has a little gimping potential but for the most part not amazing again her best options are going to be down air near and up air and it's gonna be a little hard to control you can do things like catch the ball with down air while you're floating of course, and do like a back air into the wall into a near or something, or up air. But again, it's going to be mostly reactable and not too hard to return. So, right there, I think. Pichu, worst of the game. Actually, you know what? Pichu's got near, and that's kind of all you need. Um, you know, Pichu actually might be better than all of these other guys. Maybe not better than Mario, though. Actually, maybe better than Mario. Just near can be good enough to carry you against a player that can't return the ball. And that's kind of all that you need uh, to beat somebody if they just can't return the ball. Because Pichu is fast enough to catch the ball no matter where it is. And near is okay enough that you can juggle it on your side and return the ball. The only problem, obviously, is it's not that great of a mix up. It's not a mix up at all, really. Uh, you can hit weak near, which I guess can be a mix up. But not really good, uh, not a lot of strong moves, not too much else needs to be said. Pikachu, I think, is barely not viable. <laughs> I think is low mid. Uh, I really don't think Pikachu even beats any of these other guys because he just doesn't hit that hard. His up air is a good gimp, but it just sends it right over the net, close to the net, and... After you get fooled by that a few times, you start reacting to it, and then Pikachu doesn't have that many other options. Kind of similar to Pichu, um, but his up air is better to send it over. And Thunder is good, but if you miss, you just pretty much lose the point, more than likely. And 
other than that, doesn't have too many options. Uh, has some cool, fun things, like hitting fear into up smash, or neutral B into various things. Um, and you know, up smash being so strong is pretty good, but it does come from the ground, so it takes a little while for it to get you know, to your side on the ground. Um, so yeah, just not that great in terms of strength and when it comes to hitting the ball to the back of the court. So you just mostly stand close to the net and you're, you're good against Pikachu. Uh, I'll let this be Wolf and I'll say Wolf is not better than Ices. Dare I say not even better than Luigi. Damn. Um, I'll put him right here. His back air is strong, hits hard, a little slow, but okay. Other than that, he's got, you know, okay neutrals. I mean, um, okay aerials. His neutral air is, you know, okay. His other neutral, uh, his other aerials are okay. His down air can spike. His shine is a little different than Fox and Falco's. Overall, he's just got the moves and the movement to make him high mid, but uh, not amazing. Um, pretty good, but I guess I haven't played him enough to really see his true potential, but, you know, it's Wolf. Uh, so, if you have fun playing Wolf, you know, he's high mid in my opinion. I think you'll beat most people that you play if you're playing him right. Roy, I used to think, was top three in the game. I think he had, I used to think he had some of the best control with his moves. Um, however, he is very limited when it comes to returning the ball to the back of the court, um, because you're always going to be grounded. His aerials just don't hit hard enough for him to really have the mix-up game he needs to really even be a high mid. I would say he beats out Pikachu and Ness and Peach and Roy. I mean, and DK and maybe Bowser. Probably not Doc though. You can pretty much catch any rally with him and return it hard with like an F smash or um, one of his tipper aerials as a good mix-up, but other than that, uh, he is mostly grounded and doesn't have too much of a mix-up game, so I think he's good right there. His F smash obviously really good. You can juggle with up smash. Um, he doesn't really have the best serves, I don't think, and yeah, I mean, he's fun to play, but I don't think too viable. Uh, well, viable, but not that great. Samus is top tier. I'll talk about these two at the, these two rows at the end. Sheik is top tier. Yoshi is questionable. I would say Yoshi is maybe better than these guys, and that's it. Yoshi's, I guess, similar to Pichu in that he can kind of just get carried by Nier. Um, you know, I guess for that reason, I would say he's better than just Mewtwo. Um, only because uh, he can just get carried by near. Um, I don't think his fear actually spikes. I don't remember. But other than his near, his aerials aren't that great. His back air is okay. Um, his down air is obviously insane, and I think it is possible to hit it at uh, during a rally when it's high enough. But he just doesn't have the mix-up game, and I think is just a little too weak to be viable. Young Link, I think, is high mid right before Game & Watch. I think, again, if you're hitting a majority tipper, Marth is what I'm going to be considering for him in this tier list, so he's there. And if you're doing that, I think he's slightly better than Young Link. And Young Link, similar to Link, down air, up air, best options. His aerials are good to just catch it and help with the mix-up. His grounded game isn't that great, but he's got down smash, which is okay. Other than that, his specials do damage, okay damage, but not that great. But just having a good down air and up air mix up game, uh, I think carries him to high mid. Zelda is low mid. I do think Zelda's viable and better than Pikachu and better than Ness. And you know what? Yeah, right there. The thing is, you need to be able to be hitting Zelda's beer and fair with the hard hit to really be good. Um, if you're not, she just falls short. Other than that, she's got up tilt, which I think is a really good option, and F tilt, which is also a pretty good mix up. So those moves alone, I think can just carry you with Zelda. Um, to be honest, if you're hitting 
your bears and fairs well enough, which I actually I'm going to assume that you're hitting them most of the time, like Marth, I would say she's better than Peach. Because it just hits so hard and it's kind of hard to react to. You know what? Better than DK. If you're hitting those, she's pretty good. Better than Bowser. Better... yeah, I'm gonna leave her right there. Uh, she's got other tools, but they're not that great other than those moves I mentioned, fair, bear, up tilt, and f tilt. Um, but she's kind of fun to play. Jab is kind of cool. Up smash is pretty strong. It can lead to things, but not at higher percents. But yeah, she's okay there. And that's it. Okay, so let's talk about these top two rows. So I'm going to talk about Falco last. So I think the second best character in the game is Fox. Fox has all the options he needs. He can hit it close to the net, far to the net, uh, or at the back of the court. He has all his aerials are viable and good in different situations. Um, all his specials are good. I think only <coughs> side B and up B I don't use. <coughs> but other than that, he's got back air, which alone can carry you. He's got the movement speed and the movement to use all his options. Solid character. <coughs> I think he's probably the easiest to learn in volleyball. And if you're playing volleyball, I think he's probably the best character to pick up to learn volleyball with. It's just pretty intuitive and easy to hit the ball with him and you get a good idea of how the ball moves and all that stuff. Um, he's my best character and I think he only loses to a Falco that's equally skilled or obviously better. If you're playing a Falco that's not as good as you are, you can still lose. But I think if you're good enough, you beat a Falco if you're better than them. But if they're as good as you are, you don't. Falcon, I think, is the third best, and the most fun, I think, in volleyball. He gets carried, I think, the most by knee and up air, which are just such good tools, and hit pretty hard. Up air specifically has pretty little hit stun, and I think he's the character that really made me look at the hit stun the most, because his back air, while it's really good, up air is just slightly better and if i recall correctly it's slightly weaker but because it has less hit stun it's a little hard to react to and his up air just has such a good range and good hit, uh multiple hit boxes where if you're just hitting it really late at the edge of your of the back of the move it'll send the ball at a completely different angle to when you know you hit it early so his up air has a lot of different mix-up potential and his knee obviously super strong his spike is actually insanely good you have to hit the nipple spike and it will angle it to send it uh horizontally instead of just straight down and i have a serve that i love with it i have a couple of serves actually with uh nipple spiking that I think is really good and he's just so fun to play and I think he just loses to spaces only. Sheik is the next best. I think she kind of barely loses to Falcon. Sheik also has that similar mix-up game with Fair and it just has a unique angle and it's so strong. Um, she's got back air similar to Fox and Falco just has a bigger hitbox. Hitting the strong back air and up air and fair is really all you need, and near. All her airs are good. Her up air is basically just a weaker Falco down air. Um, her needle's good to gimp with if you're really good at hitting that aerial needle. Um, her F tilt is good, her up tilt is good, her just tons of options. She's got the speed and the damage. She's top tier. Samus is fourth. Now Samus is only good because <laughs> because Gumi has really pushed Samus and has really shown how many mix-up potential uh, Samus has. Um, when it comes to serving, Samus has probably uh, I I don't even I'm only saying probably to be modest <laughs> because easily Samus has the craziest mix-up serves uh, that I've seen at least. Um, and when Samus isn't serving, still, she's got great options to kill the momentum of the ball. So you can 
juggle it how you want and then return it super hard with great mix-ups. Missile, charge shot, downer has good enough range that you can spike it on their side um, if you're experienced enough with it and good at uh, just spotting when you can do that. F tilt to catch it, up to air to catch it, back air hits really hard, nair is good, down smash is good, F smash is good, up smash does a ton of damage, down smash if I didn't already say that. Such a good mix up. A lot of tools really slept on because it's Samus and I think in normal melee people are kind of a little wonky playing Samus but really good. If you need any other idea of why Samus is good just go look at a replay of Gumi playing a game versus whoever and you'll see why really quickly. And the only other top tier I think is Ganondorf. Um, Ganon has the strongest hits, I mean, all his aerials are good, back air, up air, fair, all send pretty similar angles, um, Nair complements those so well, and sends it at a, a little bit more vertically tight angle, and it's so good. His forward B on the ground is good, his forward B in the air is even really good. His down smash is amazing, hits the ball really hard, you gotta hit both hits, or just the second hit. His F smash is really good to complement that. Um, a lot of options, jab is good, uh, just a lot of options and really strong hits. Obviously his weakness is he's a little slow, but good Ganons know that he's not that slow. <laughs> he's got the wavelands, he's got the movement I think that he can hit the ball pretty much no matter what with just his up air because it, it's great range and yeah he's got the moves and the mix ups to be top tier and I think he only loses to people above him. And that leaves us with Falco. So I didn't do a video on Falco serves because uh, it's really no secret that Falco's down air is so good and his his uh, gimmick is really just that, I don't know if you want to call it a gimmick, his strongest tool is that he's got shine mix-ups. You can shine which just sends the ball straight up into dare, shine into bear, you can shine turn around bear or just hit the reverse bear, or shine into up air. And each of those sends the ball at pretty different angles. You can shine near, but that's the weakest of the uh, aerials. And you can do that in a serve with various setups uh, that end with a shine into one of those aerials. And a, the optimal Falco will be returning every single rally with a shine mix-up at the net. That is the hardest thing to react to. And after the serve, it isn't reactable. During the serve, I used to think it was not reactable, but honestly, Gumi kind of showed that it is. Uh, I'm sure there's another player that maybe th thought it was and showed that it is, but I, I didn't see it or know of them or whatever. And Gumi really showed that you can just stand at the net and react to Falco dare with jab, or just dash attack if they go for the mix-up bear. And you get there in time to catch it. I started doing that with Fox, and I haven't lost to that Falco mix-up serve since. So Falco doesn't have that amazing mix-up serve, or I should say, Falco does have a reactable serve, um, but after that, you just lose to Falco. Uh, the only thing is, you win uh, the point if you just guess the 50-50, because it's a little annoying that uh, he's always going to be over committing with uh, that option. If you're shine daring and they just hard read you, for example if I'm fox and I just hard read your shine dare, I'll just up smash or up tilt and then you don't have time to return it. Or if I read your hard shine bear, I just wall jump or if it's low enough I don't need to and I return it with a bear and you don't land fast enough to return it. So at the very top of the game, these guys are technically the best but Falco an equally skilled Falco playing against a Fox, Falco wins every single time. The only way you're winning is if you're just a better player than the Falco. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> There's really nothing else that needs to be said about Falco. Um, his other moves, I mean, you don't really need them. His F smash is strong though, his down smash is good. Um, his bear is just really strong, is a good tool to just use whenever you want. and. His dash attack and F tilt and other moves help set up his shine mix ups. And he's pretty much the end all of volleyball, I think. Uh, the peak Falco doesn't lose to anybody else in the game. 
And that's the tier list. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, <laughs> I think I think this is pretty okay. I think everybody is pretty close to where they belong. Um, you know, these tiers are actually just so similar that I think anybody in here kind of beats each other uh, with similar skill level. It really just depends how you play and um, you know what you do, blah blah blah. But I think. Unlike regular melee, there's just a lot more chance to um, have a lot more characters be viable. So, yeah, you know, let me know what you guys think. If some of these you think need to be up or down, let me know what you guys think about these two specifically, because these two are pretty uh, heatedly debated, uh, I think, whether or not who's best. Uh, I think for the most part, people agree that Falco is the best, but, you know, Fox does have quicker vertical and horizontal movement he can hit his peak quicker and come down faster than falco and obviously run faster so he's got that going for him but again an equally skilled falco and fox uh the fox loses every single time so yep i'm gonna end with that let me know what you guys think hope you guys enjoyed this and